Hello, thank you for coming to join me. My name's Sherry. Um, thank you if you've come back to listen to my podcast and you're very welcome if it's your first time. Change of scene today, we can see how that goes. I'm in my sitting room and Tommy, my cat, has been meowing and Archie has is put out because he can't be with me. So we're going to see how that goes. How are you? Hope you've had a good week. Um, just wanted to come on really and show you what I've been doing with my slow stitching and a couple of other bits and pieces. So thank you if you've come along to do some slow stitching with me. I'm really so thrilled about that. And some of you have been coming over and using the hashtag seasonal stitch along or you, you've been tagging me on, on, on either Sherry Iris or um, Selfridge Chronicles, which is really more my stitchy Instagram account. And really it's if any slow stitching. So if you're doing any kind of stitching at all, any kind of needlework, um, join in. So it's lovely. It's like stitching together. And actually when I was sitting doing this last night, it felt like that. I was thinking, because I've been talking to a couple of people and I thought, I wonder what they're doing. Anyway, I, mine is still not finished, my January's, but it is getting there. So this is my January one, which I've still got the hoop on there because I'm working on it and I'm too lazy to take it off at the minute. Bad practice, I know you're supposed to. Um, so basically for my January one, I use snowdrops as my sort of colour scheme, the greens and sort of greys, and went with the snowdrop design and galanthus, which is Latin for snowdrop. So that is nearing completion. Um, and when it's when I've finished the embroidery and that lettering, I'll put lots of little tiny stitches on. And then I think I'm just going to put, I'll edge it and then I'll put something on the top so I can just put a bit of dowling through, I think, and I might put it up on the wall. I'm quite pleased with it actually, quite pleased with how it's come together because it was very much made up as I went along. The little snowdrop, by the way, if you would like to embroider it, or I was going to do, I was going to make that applique. The stalk is wool that I've used and then just um, used a couching stitch to secure it. So you can do any which way you want. You can do applique for all of it if you wanted to, but that is going to be a little free download. Um, so yeah, if you did want to do it, that will be there um yeah and come over and say hello and on selvage chronicles tell me what you've been doing but it's been lovely stitching that and we've just finished watching around the world in 80 days and i've got that sort of thing now where i don't know what i'm going to watch next but i loved that really enjoyed that um now, the other thing, which is not going to be in the shop this weekend, because I did, I did say I was going to do it last week, I was trying to do it and I just did not have time, are some slow stitching bundles. So I was going to put together a very similar one to the kind of colour scheme that I had, um, but also just some general um, vintage slow stitching bundles basically a little bundle of fabrics and bits and little bits of embroidery and um, some linens just so that you've got something to stitch together in a little pack little I, I love little packs of goodies like this so and I've got quite a few vintage linens and embroideries and some of them are far from perfect or they've got holes in so they're ideal to be reused really so I will be if you're interested in that I will be putting some of these in the shop vintage ones and then I will also try and put together some just colour bundles which will be some vintage and some not vintage I've also got some lovely wool it's an old Whitney blanket which is absolutely lovely so yeah so they will start coming into the shop but they won't be going in today today is Friday I didn't say, um, but they will be going into the shop soon. Um, 
I'll quickly tell you what else is going and then I'll tell you about my walk. So basically, there are two things going in the shop mainly. We had some minis going earlier in the week, which I um, haven't brought with me. So I'll put on the screen, which were some flutter minis and that we're doing a butterfly collection. And I know some of you are, are collecting the minis together to make um, a blanket, a butterfly blanket. And the first one was um, Blaertes and the second one is Flutter because a Flutter is a name for a group of butterflies, which I thought was lovely. Or it can also be a kaleidoscope or a swarm. And we're definitely going to have a kaleidoscope colourway coming up, but we rather liked Flutter. Tommy, come on. So this is our, uh, this is our rescue cat, Tommy. Come on, darling. And he doesn't like closed doors. So he's, he gets a bit panicky. Um, yeah, so that's the Flutter Minis and they went into the shop midweek. And then these are our Elegance Minis, which oh, I love these. So these are on our Sparkly Stellina base and they are sort of plum, almost a sort of plum sort of aubergine pink colour and a lovely soft rose pink and then sort of golds and silvers and it's on the Stellina base Tom Tom it's on a Stellina base so it's it's all sparkly and lovely so yes that is elegance and the minis are going in the shop today and on Friday I'm hoping to get this podcast out today, but if not, it will come up and go up on Saturday. Um, there will be a main skein of this um, going up next week too. And the other thing that is going into the shop is a spring box that we've that we've put together for you. We are putting it together in the process of putting it together. So it's gone up kind of as a pre-order, uh, and they'll ship around mid-February so they've got sort of a month to get to you and the idea is that you start opening there will be a 100 gram skein and seven 20 gram minis so this is a 20 gram mini there'll be seven of these all with a so it's a surprise it's a bit like the advent and it's a surprise but the colors will be lovely soft spring colors um and each of the minis will be like the advent, it will be individually wrapped in tissue and then it will come in a little fabric bag which will be numbered and there are seven of them and the idea is you start opening them on March the 20th which I think is the official beginning of spring. I mean some people look at the beginning of March as the beginning of spring but I think the official beginning of spring is the 20th or the equinox is actually the 21st but Sunday is the 20th and we thought start opening on the 20th um, one a day for a week so sit have a cup of tea a bit of cake and open your mini and each one will come with a little uh, narrative a little story based on foxglove wood which was the same as our uh, focus of our advent for the last couple of years um also comes with a little drawstring pouch it's not a, a big project bag it's a smaller pouch an oceans pouch but it will also take a small project um, there'll be a lovely French soap and a, a print from Christopher, uh, based on a piece of original art that he'll create for the box and a little progress keeper. And it will all come in a lovely, um, sort of keepsake box. So that's going in the shop this evening as well. So that's that. Um, so I'm in the Southwest in Devon and it's definitely... I mean, we've woken up the last few mornings to a really thick frost, but I mean, honestly, it's been pretty mild. And we went out for a walk yesterday morning along the river. So uh, it's the River X where I live. And you can walk all the way from Exeter all the way to Topsham and actually all the way to Exmouth along the riverbank. And um, we had a lovely walk. And there are there are signs of spring and the birds are behaving differently as well. We have blackbirds all the way along our route. And it was lovely. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. And we came back feeling 
tired out because it ended up being about a four mile walk, which was longer than we anticipated. Um, but also just that, I mean, I love winter. I mean, no massive hurry for spring, but it does make you feel you just, you're reminded of all those thing you're, things you're looking forward to. Um, and I've started my uh, perpetual botanical notebook. So every week I'm just doing a little sketch in there of things I'm seeing. So that was lovely too. So anyway, I'll leave you with a bit of footage of that actually. Um, so anyway, wishing you a lovely week, a lovely crafty week, and don't forget to come over onto Selvage Chronicles um, or uh, on Sherry Iris and say hello and tell me what you're doing. Okay, wishing you a lovely week. Bye.